I'm Steve Ernst. We farm in Clear Spring, Maryland, Western Maryland, out in the narrow neck part of Maryland. My sons will be the seventh generation to farm here. Um, our operation consists of about uh, 40 to 50 sows, uh, about 30 to 40 ewes, and then we do a lot of row crops, uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, barley, and we do a little bit of hay. We farm uh, between five and 600 acres, um, mostly land that we rent, although we own some of the land and the land that we rent, some of it's family land. Our operation is a long-term no-till operation. Uh, we utilize cover crops, crop rotations, uh, and we also utilize intensive rotational grazing in our pastures and done that for many years. The land that we farm is rather rolling. Uh, we have a lot of limestone outcrops, so that is one of the reasons we went to no-till years ago, along with the, the stewardship issues as far as building soil tilth and uh, sequestering carbon and those sorts of things. When we look at the no-till land and, and then we look at the streams and the intermittent streams that run through our land, just how clear they are, how, um, how little runoff we see. Uh, we received the uh, uh, a stewardship award. That we were the first in the state of Maryland, and when the uh, Soil Conservation Service calculated our soil erosion, it was it was minimal. I mean, it was extremely low, lower than I anticipated. Um, and we th we think that's because we use cover crops, because we try to keep the the soil covered, and because um, you know we're using crop rotations and grass buffers and waterways and and riparian buffers and all those things. Uh, because of that, we've also seen an influx of wildlife over the years, um, increases there. Now, uh, as a farmer, when they start hitting my fields pretty hard, which they do in this part of the state, um, that can be a bit frustrating. But it's also uh, known that my grandfather saw turkeys here when he bought the farm, this particular farm, in the 40s. And, and now, you know, about five, ten years ago, we started seeing turkeys here again. You know, that those things are cycling through, that the... Uh, the life cycles of the of the wildlife and the soils and the plants are healthy uh, that that we're doing our part out here to keep the bay pristine down in that part of the state and that we're doing our part to keep our area pristine we believe in stewardship of the land uh, we're pretty pretty much a traditional operation we do do some direct marketing of the grains off the farm for people who feed wildlife and and livestock that sort of thing we uh, do a lot of direct marketing on our uh, livestock enterprises and we participate in soil conservation. My grandfather started in that back in the 40s and 50s and, and participated in that and done a lot of those kinds of things. Uh, the farms that we farm that we don't own, most all those farms are long-term participants in soil conservation and in uh, uh, tree farming and that sort of thing. So um, we have had uh, continued those programs uh, throughout the years as we farmed that land. We think that the, the quality of life that we have on the farm is very important to us, but we also look at the farm as a business uh, where we have to be able to pay our bills and survive uh, and, and to uh, make a profit to go forward uh, so the next generations can continue the operation. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, all I wanted to do was farm. Uh, we have a, a family operation where uh, my grandparents and my father farmed together and then my father and I farm together, and then uh, now my sons and I farm. Uh, but I also work away. I do crop consulting. I do dairy nutrition work. Uh, I've done that ever since I got out of college. Um, I always wanted to come back to Clear Spring and farm here. Uh, I had a desire to farm in this area. But I want to say that in desiring to farm, I wanted to make sure it was something where we could make progress. I didn't want to just just exist. I didn't want to just uh, stop in time and, and not be able to move forward. So uh, expansion of the operation, uh, building grain storage, um, hiring out, uh, harvesting, things like that. We, we, we're, we're really careful where we pick and choose to, to spend capital um, to uh, determine you know, what's most profitable for us. Uh, so every morning I get up and I leave for the office. Um, and I spend a little bit of time there, and then I'm out on the road every day dealing with farmers in four states. Uh, that has helped make me a better farmer because I see what lots of people do. I see all the different ways that people can uh, uh, achieve profitability, but also the different ways that people are being stewards of their land, and it helps make us better stewards.